Hey everyone, I'm William Cutting 08, and this is not a knife review. This is actually a video request, and this video um, was requested by uh, one of my friends on YouTube, and his screen name is ATF6281914, and his name is Andrew. And for those of you who haven't seen any of it, any of his videos, then you should definitely check his videos out because he has some really good knife reviews. And um, I'm, I'll post all his information um, in the information bar on the right. So definitely check his videos out. And this video is for you, bud. But anyway, uh, whenever I bought my Cold Steel Finbear, um, I didn't really like the sheath. Uh, that you got with the knife. So, uh, one day I was just kind of sitting there and I was like, man, what if I could make my own sheath? Well, I kind of did that. I went out to um, Tandy Leather Factory and I bought this uh, sheath kit that um, comes pre-cut and pre-punched. Uh, the only thing that I did to this sheath right here is that um, I dyed it because Originally, it came to me kind of like this ugly um, color right here. And I just uh, dyed it this uh, range tan, and it looks beautiful, as you can see here. But um, anyway, I made this knife, and or not the knife, but I made the sheath and uh, for my fin bear. But it works out nicely. So there's that one. And then next, I made this knife sheath, and you've already seen it. Uh, I made it for a different knife, but it didn't work out, but I kept the sheath uh, just in case. Maybe I got uh, uh, another knife that would actually fit, and um, lo and behold, the Izula works great with this sheath. So there's that one. And uh, the, next kni the next knife sheath that I made is uh, this one right here. And I made it for uh, my Cold Steel uh, Lloyd Pendleton Mini Hunter. And uh, as you can see, it has um, a pattern that's, that goes kind of around uh, the edge of the sheath. And it's, again, the ranged hand. And then I even added like a little star right there. Um, but as you can see, the, the knife fits in the sheath really good. Uh, you don't have to worry about it falling out because um, I usually try to cover a small portion of the handle so that way it holds the knife uh, securely, but you can still get a pretty good at least three fingers um, grip on the sheath. Um, and then here's the belt loop attachment right there. I don't know. I really like this one. This one works really good especially for that knife. Um, I also made this uh, sheath for my Columbia River uh, Knife and Tool Glide Lock. And as you can see here, the sheath has the same shape as the knife handle, um, which is very unique. And I did this in a mahogany colored or color dye, and it has white stitching instead of the mahogany stitching, which kind of brings it out just a little bit more. And um, there's the belt loop attachment, but um, this is a really nice sheath, and it works great for this knife. Also, I made this other sheath. Um, as you can see here, it has um, my name, Lee, right there in the front, and then it has this little flap that I uh, made, and I stamped this, uh, what is this, the basket weave um, on both sides, and then, um, as you can see, I mean, it just, that flap just fits right underneath the, my name, and then there's the belt loop attachment. So really nice. Uh, this is really time-consuming, um, but it's definitely worth it because um, of the end product that you get when you make a sheath for a knife. And I also made this one. This one's kind of a, a just a weird thought. I don't know why I tried to make a knife, uh, a sheath for this knife. 
But I like my warthog so much that I tried to make a sheath. Uh, it didn't really work out too well. But one thing that's unique about this one is that I added this little uh, attachment thing. It has a attachment strap that kind of fits onto that hole. So that's per that's very unique. That's kind of like a step up from most of these because these are just full plain leather sheaths. Whereas this one, um, I added this uh, this little strap. But again, has the basket weave, has like an umbrella scale like uh, pattern. Yeah, it looks really a lot like scales. Um, then it has it on the back side. There's the belt loop attachment. Um, it has a has usually kind of has the shape of the warthog. And then um, there's a pattern on the strap. Anyway, just want to show y'all that one. And because um, that one was didn't really work out too well, but I like it because of that um, that little ball attachment. But here's like my um, favorite one, and I consider it probably my masterpiece because it took so long to make, and um, it worked out nicely. But I made it for the mini hunter, and let me put it in first because it's awesome. But anyway. It's this one right here, and um, it took forever to make this sheath, and it worked out nicely, as you can see. Um, it kind of has the, kind of gives me the vibe of like a Frankenstein or uh, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre Leatherface um, look to it, but I mean it looks really nice. And as you can see, I added like some texturing around the edge, and um, what I did was I cut out the... I do everything. I mean, I get... Whenever I make a sheath, I get um, a blank piece of leather. And then I'll cut out the pattern, which is what I did for this uh, knife sheath. I cut out the pattern, or, or the initial shape. And then for these, this crazy stitching right here, I just cut out like a jigsaw puzzle piece type thing with scissors. And then put it all back together, punched all the holes, and then stitched it all back up. And, um, I mean, as you can see, I mean, it turned out really nice. It has that beautiful mahogany color. And, um, there's the belt loop attachment. But, I mean, awesome. This is a very time-consuming, uh, hobby that I do. But, as you can see, the end, po end product is worth it. And um, if you see anything you like, a design or pattern, or if you if you have just a knife that you would like a sheath for, then I can definitely make y'all one. Um, we can just get in touch with me and we'll work something out. But um, yes, very fun. And I mean, these are just, all these sheaths that I make are one of a kind. And I mean, they're pretty much priceless. So, very awesome. Custom Sheaths um, by William Cutting. And um, just wanted to share that with you. Uh, sorry about um, not posting any knife reviews. Um, just kind of want to give you a, an update, an account update right now um, while I have the chance. And right now I'm planning to do the Rat Izula Paracord Wrap. And if you look in the Izula Knife Review, then you'll see that it has a different paracord wrap as of now. And um, this paracord wrap I figured out uh, earlier today. And this was inspired by one of my subscribers. He sent me some pictures of his paracord wrap that he did to his uh, K-Bar Becker Necker knife. And it kind of influenced me to kind of do the same thing. Um, but it's on my Izula. And as you can see, there's the front and back. But yes, I'll show you how to do this paracord wrap as well. And and then after I make these uh, the paracord wrap videos, then I plan on doing a knife review um, on the Sog Trident. And then hopefully I'll try to do one on the Columbia River Knife and Tool Hisatsu Folder Knife. So definitely stay tuned because... 
um, I plan to make those very soon. And I hope this video helped you out, Andrew. Uh, Y'all guys have a nice day, and y'all take care.